Hello everyone. Good morning. This is your computer teacher. I am here to conduct a session with you on computational thinking. Courtesy COVID-19, we have to conduct the session on YouTube. As I said earlier, the topic that we are going to discuss is computational thinking. By the end of this video, you will understand the concept of computational thinking and how a problem can be solved using computational thinking. So, what is computational thinking? Computational thinking is a problem solving process or a set of problem solving methods. It is looking at a problem in a way that a computer can help us to solve it. For example, to make a game in scratch. How do we start? By planning the game, by planning the sprites and the levels and then writing the script. The thinking that is undertaken before starting work on the computer is known as computational thinking. Now, so to define computational thinking is the thought process involved in formulating a problem and to express its solution in such a way that a computer or a human can understand it. Computational thinking help us to solve the problem by four things. First, breaking down the problem into small pieces. Second, using what we already know. Third, recognizing common between the problems. And the fourth is creating step-by-step -step solution to solve the problem. There are six concepts involved in computational thinking. Those are first logic, second algorithm, third decomposition, fourth pattern matching, fifth abstraction and sixth evaluation. You can see the image on your screen which shows all the six concepts of the computational thinking. So let's move on with the first concept and let's go through each and every concept in detail. The first is logic. When trying to solve problem, we need to think logically. Logical reasoning is about explaining why something happens. It is about trying to make sense of things by observing, collecting data and the facts you already know. The second concept is the algorithm. An algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to resolve a problem. A pictorial repre representation of algorithm is also known as flowchart. The third concept is decomposition. As the word makes us understand, the breaking down of a complex problem into smaller parts that is easier to understand is known as decomposition. For example, let the problem be making a breakfast in the morning. So, if the problem in front of your mom is to make a breakfast in the morning, so if she decomposes that problem into two, that is making a toast and making a tea. It makes the job easier. Making a toast can be done by you and she will make the tea. So in that way, the problem becomes easier and faster to accomplish. 
Next is pattern matching. Pattern is the similarity that some of the problems share. The ability to notice these similarities helps us to solve the problem efficiently. When we decompose a complex problem, we often find patterns among the smaller problems we create. For example, in solving pattern questions like this which you can see on your screen, we try to find similarities in each and every square. So in short, the pattern matching is the ability to notice the similarities. Abstraction. Once we have recognized the patterns in our problem, we use abstraction to gather the general characteristics and to filter out the details that we do not need to solve our problem. Abstraction gives us a clear picture of what output we want. The last concept of computational thinking is evaluation. Identifying the possible solutions to a problem and judging the best to use is called evaluation. So with this, the concept of Computational thinking is being explained and I wish everyone understood the same. Thank you and hope to see you again soon. Stay safe and be happy.